This week's declaration is I am not giving up. Now, warning, this video will contain chat about poo and pee. So if you don't want to hear about that, totally understand, switch off now. If you are keen to search, press through the base things of this world to receive the treasure, then carry on watching at your peril. No jokes, it's not that bad. So we have just embarked upon day one of potty training. This was something I did not know how it was going to be possible. It seemed like our son had absolutely no interest in the idea, and but I've known we've got to do it. So it's like, okay, today's the day, got to do it. And we had one success in the morning, and then it was just peeing everywhere, inside, outside, on the floor. And we were just exhausted. Well, I was just feeling, oh my goodness. I tried to do everything right. I'm chasing you around like a magnet. I'm watching like a hawk. I'm feeding you so many drinks so that you have lots of opportunities to practice. I'm trying to do all the stuff they say in the books and it is not working. And I don't know how you're going, you know, when, how, what else to do. And then something switched in the afternoon and he totally got the vision got excited about it and um, I just did quite a few peas in the party in exchange for stickers on the sticker chart. And he's just doing one after the other, just like, this is great fun. And I was so grateful. I was like, thank you, Jesus. And then end of the day, biggest victory of all, manages to do a poo. First poo in the potty. Like huge excitement. He was so thrilled. He was so proud. And children are now in bed and I was just having a breather, so thrilled after this quite intense day of focus and play and teaching and stuff. And God just spoke to me through it about not giving up. Because in the middle of the afternoon where there'd been so many accidents all over the floor, I just thought, oh my goodness, what else can I do? But it was only moments later that something switched and he got the vision and excitement of actually doing the pee in the potty. And I think so often we are at that tipping point. We're approaching that tipping point where there's about to be breakthrough. But so many of us give up before that because it's too hard. But the Bible says, do not grow weary of doing good. For in due season, you will reap a harvest if you don't give up. If we don't quit, we win. We're called to be overcomers in Christ. And often that overcoming looks like just carrying on, just getting up the next day, just doing it again, just putting one foot in front of the other, just not giving up. And that can often feel very unglamorous. Often you can be like, Lord, where are you in the midst of this? I can't hear your voice. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're saying about this situation. I don't understand. Where are your promises? Where are the prophetic words I've believed on in? You know, we can be in the dark and we can be so tempted to give up. But I call you today, do not give up. Do not grow weary of doing good. For in due course, you will reap a harvest and you will reap a reward. Stay faithful, whatever it is, where there's that temptation to give up. Stay faithful, keep believing God, keep trusting, keep persevering, keep following him at all costs. He is a good father. He doesn't let us down. We do not see in full. We only see partially here on earth. But from eternity in heaven, we will get so much hindsight of what on earth was going on during so much of our life when we felt in the dark. But for now, one of our biggest love offerings and worship we can give to God is to trust and just to keep going, to keep following him in the midst of the not knowing. So I bless you with fresh perseverance this week, fresh grace to just keep going despite all the odds, despite all the setbacks, despite all the discouragement and despite all the haziness of not being able to see through the fog. The Lord is with you. And he is just encouraging this week, do not give up.